What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. Today we're discussing about a brand new dopamine jailbreak update that was released and then pulled out because it was so buggy. We're gonna discuss it in a few seconds. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows to easily fix your iOS system if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, or any kind of issue with booting. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So you're probably aware of dopamine jailbreak is the most current jailbreak available. It supports iOS 15.0 up to 16.6.1 on A8 through A16 devices and even M1 and M2 are supported. This jailbreak is one of the most advanced at the moment and supports the latest devices, at least the latest that support these iOS versions. However, there was a brand new update released two days ago, the version 2.3, which was subsequently pulled out because it was extremely buggy. So if you manage to update to it, then you should go ahead and downgrade right now to 2.2.2, which is considered at the moment the stable version. Now, this was the first update since August 10th, and unfortunately, it did have some important things fixing over here but the fixes did not outweigh the issues that this version brought. Now, according to OPA334, the developer behind Dopamine, this was indeed tested for bugs, but those bugs did not surface until people started noticing the problems and, of course, reporting them after the release. The update itself, the version 2.3, did rework fork fix to not do any C function hooks on iOS 15, ARM64E, and that was in an attempt to reduce the spin lock panics, which is a prevalent issue on iOS 15. It also fixes a rare system deadlock during initializing jailbreak, adds old ABI implementation that doesn't use C function hooks. There have been a lot of important fixes in here and some improvements to make the jailbreak better. However, whatever happened with this version, it actually introduced more bugs than it fixed. So essentially dopamine jailbreak is now back to 2.2.2 because 2.3 was indeed pulled. It's no longer available here in the assets. So as I said, if you did manage to update to it while it was still available and announced on Twitter by OPA334, you should definitely go ahead and downgrade right now because apparently this version is definitely unusable so go ahead and downgrade now if you want to find the latest jailbreak tools you can definitely go ahead here on iDeviceCentral.com click on the jailbreak tools and you will be able to find the latest versions of latest jailbreaks for all iOS versions where available if a jailbreak is not available there are several tools that can take its place somehow like Misaka X, Nugget and so on so definitely check that one out for iOS 18 the only jailbreak available at the moment is the Pelrin jailbreak and this one only supports the A10 device in the form of iPadOS 18. This doesn't support newer devices. So yeah, go ahead, downgrade your dopamine, keep it on 2.2.2 at the moment. I'm sure there will be a rework for the version 2.3 at some point, but right now it's a buggy mess and you should definitely downgrade. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.